All right, so you know we got some interesting sources this time about uh, making money reposting animal videos. Yeah, like seriously, who wouldn't want to make money just watching cute animals all day? That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Sounds pretty dreamy. It does. And um, according to the sources, people really are making bank with this. No kidding. Like, how much are we talking? Thousands a month. Sometimes even more, it seems. All right. Color me intrigued. So where do we even, like, begin to break this down? Well, I guess the first thing to consider is, like, why are these videos such a hot commodity online? Right. I mean, obviously, everyone loves a good cat video or whatever, but why are they so, you know, valuable? Well, just think about it. Animal content, you know, it's just universally appealing. Yeah, I guess so. It just transcends any language barriers, cultural differences. It doesn't matter. Everyone loves them. True. And then you've got these platforms like YouTube, right, just completely flooded with viewers. Oh, yeah, for sure. And they're hungry for this stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. And then there's, you know, like, I think it was this one source even gave this really interesting example. It was uh, this YouTube channel called Cute Pet TV. Cute Pet TV? Yeah. They have almost, like, 2 million subscribers. Wow. And they're pulling in an estimated, like, $200,000 a year. Get out of here. Just from animal videos. No way. Yeah. But um, it's not all about the views, though. It's not. No. What's really important is the engagement, you know, likes, comments, shares, oh, right. all that good stuff. That's what really boosts visibility and makes them so valuable for, you know, advertisers. Makes sense. So, okay, let's say I'm sold on this. Where do I, like, even begin to find these, uh, you know, these viral animal videos? Am I just, like, scrolling through YouTube all day? Uh-huh. Is that what these people are doing? Actually, most of the sources are pointing to a kind of surprising spot. Uh, Chinese social media apps. What, like TikTok? Well, TikTok, yeah, but the Chinese version, Douyin. Oh. And then there's some others, too, like Kuaishu and Zigua Video. Interesting. Okay, so, but why, like, why Chinese apps? Ah, this is the clever part. See, platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, they're all blocked in China. Oh, right. So you got this massive library of, like, unique content on those Chinese apps that's unlikely to trigger copyright issues on, you know, Western platforms. Hmm. That's that's actually pretty smart. It is. So basically these folks are taking these Chinese videos and reposting them on YouTube. Bingo. But there's a little more to it than just, you know, straight up reposting. Okay, so what's the uh, what's the process? So they download the videos first, right? Yeah. And then they edit them to, you know, make them their own. Edit them? Yeah. How so? Well, some are even using, like, AI tools. In video was a popular one in the sources. The AI for editing? Yep. They can add, you know, voiceovers, music, captions, the whole nine yards, make it look all professional and stuff. Hold on, hold on. Back up a sec. How are they even downloading videos from these Chinese apps in the first place? Oh, totally possible. Couple different ways. Some sources suggest screen recording. Others talk about, you know, using specific download tools. Like right what? Well, one they mentioned was teacherdart.cc for Kwai Shu videos. Never heard of it. And uh, you can even find tools to extract and translate the Chinese text from the original video. So you don't have to, you know, worry about that. Wow. That's pretty wild. So you're saying, like, I download the video, yeah. then I use AI to, like, jazz it up. Exactly. What kind of, like, specific things can this AI do? I'm kind of fascinated now. Oh, the possibilities are, like, constantly expanding. It's kind of crazy. These AI tools can do things like... Um, generate scripts, add voiceovers. They can even do clone voices, which is kind of freaky. Clone voices? Yeah. Like, imagine you could take Morgan Freeman's voice and have him narrate a video of a squirrel eating a nut. That's both amazing and terrifying. Uh Uh-huh. Right. But yeah, uh, music, captions, make sure the whole video flows nice, has a good hook to grab people's attention, all that. Like, I could take a video of my dog playing fetch, and with AI, turn it into some heartwarming story about, like, the bond between humans and animals. Yeah, pretty much. It's amazing, right? It's crazy. But uh, I guess even with AI, there's still got to be some actual editing involved, yeah, right? Of course. You don't want to just, you know, mindlessly repost stuff. The key is to add your own creative touch, inject your own personality, you know, and plus that helps avoid any copyright issues. Oh, right. Copyright. Good point. So I got to make it like unique. Exactly. Okay. So I find my video on a Chinese app. Download it, edit it, you know, with some AI magic and my own sparkle, upload it to YouTube. Boom. Now what? How do I actually 
you know, make money from it. All right. So monetization strategies. The obvious one is YouTube ad revenue, right? Right. right. But there's a whole world beyond just ads. Is there? Like, well, a lot of these sources talk about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing? I'm not really familiar with that. So it's basically like you partner with brands, right? And you promote their products in your videos. Let's say you're doing all cat videos. Okay. You could promote cat toys, cat food, whatever. Makes sense. And then when someone clicks your link and buys something, you get a commission. Oh, that's pretty cool. So where can I learn more about this affiliate marketing stuff? If you're thinking about that route, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Interesting. So besides YouTube ads and affiliate marketing, any other ways to make money with these videos? Oh, totally. Sponsorships are huge. Sponsorships? Yeah. Partner with, you know, pet food companies or whatever. That's a good idea. Or you could, like, sell your own merch. You know, t-shirts with your channel logo, mugs, whatever. Or... Or even, like, start a Patreon. A Patreon? Yeah. Your biggest fans can support you directly that way. Huh. There really are a lot of options. Yeah. And some sources even suggest combining all of these strategies, mm. you know, for, like, maximum earning potential. So ads, affiliate links, merch, Patreon. Wow. You really could make a living doing this, huh? It seems that way. This is crazy. Okay, so, but with all this talk about reposting, what about, like, copyright? Isn't that a big deal? It's definitely something to be aware of, but the risk is way lower with this Chinese content. Mm -hmm. You know, most people on YouTube have never seen it before. Right, right. But it's still important to be smart about it. So, like, what are people doing to avoid getting in trouble. Basically, they're adding original stuff. Like, they might edit the pacing, add their own intro and outro, use different music, stuff like that. So it's not just, like, slapping on a new title and calling it a day. Definitely not. You got to put in the work to make it your own. Add value, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So I have found my perfect video, downloaded it, made it unique, uploaded it. What's next? Just sit back and watch the money roll in. Ah, uh, I wish it were that easy. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Success on YouTube takes consistency and engagement. You got to keep uploading videos regularly and you got to interact with your viewers. So like responding to comments and stuff. Exactly. Building a community around your channel is key. Makes sense. <laughs> you can't just expect people to like magically find your videos. They dope. You got to put in the effort to promote them, build a following. One source even suggested making like 10 videos before you even upload anything. Yeah. yeah. Gives potential viewers a bunch of content to check out. Shows them you're serious. Mm. That's a good idea. All right. But it's not just about quantity, right? The videos have got to be good, too. Any tips for, like, making engaging animal videos? Storytelling is huge, even with, like, short videos. Think about music, text overlays, humor, wow. you know, stuff to keep people interested. So it's more than just cute animals doing cute things. you got to add something extra. Exactly. And this is another place where AI can really shine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like in video. It can help you craft a narrative, add emotion, make the whole thing look professional. Can you give me an example? Sure. Let's say you have a video of, I don't know, a dog feeding a baby rabbit. It's cute, but maybe not super exciting. But you tell the AI to make it into a video about, like, unlikely animal friendships. Add some emotional music, heartwarming voiceover, and boom, you've got something really special. Wow, that's awesome. AI is pretty powerful stuff. It really is. All right, let's switch gears for a second and talk about branding. Branding. Is that important for, like, a channel that's just reposting videos? More than you might think. A strong brand helps you stand out, you know, helps you attract loyal viewers. Think about your favorite YouTube channels. They all have a certain vibe, right? True. That's their brand, and it keeps people coming back for more. So how do I create a brand if I'm just reposting content? First, think about who you're trying to reach. What kind of content do they like? What are their interests? Gotcha. So if I love funny animal videos, I should make a channel that's all about laughter. Exactly. Find your niche and own it. Love it. All right. So we've talked about finding content, editing, AI, making money, copyright, consistency, engagement, and branding. Anything else we should know? Don't forget about patience. Building a successful YouTube channel takes time. Right. It's not going to happen overnight. Nope. Just stay focused, keep learning, and have fun. Great advice. And even if I don't become, like, a YouTube millionaire, I'll still learn a lot, right? Absolutely. And you never know, you might discover a passion for filmmaking along the way. That's true. 
Oh, and before I forget, if I do decide to try this whole affiliate marketing thing, you mentioned a good resource earlier. Yeah, for sure. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Perfect. Thanks for all the info. This is some really interesting stuff. You got it. Glad you found it helpful. It really could. Like, seriously, imagine having multiple streams of income just from cute animal videos. Mind-blowing, honestly. But, okay, back to copyright for a sec. You mentioned it's lower risk with these Chinese apps. Yeah, because, you know, it's basically uncharted territory on YouTube and stuff. Right. But you still want to be careful. Oh, for sure. So, like, what can I actually do to avoid any uh, issues? The key is to, like, make it your own, you Mm -hmm. know? Add some original elements. Okay, like what? Give me some examples. Well, you could... um, you could change the pacing of the video, maybe add your own intro and outro, uh, okay. use different music, add some sound effects, maybe even like put some text commentary over it or like your own reaction. Ooh, like me making funny faces at the screen. Ah, uh, exactly. The point is to make it like distinctly yours, you know? Gotcha. So it's not just about finding a cute video and re-uploading it. Nope, definitely not. You got to put in the effort to make it unique, add your own, you know, creative touch. Makes sense. All right, so... I've done all that, found the video, made it my own, uploaded it. Now I just like sit back and watch the cash roll in, right? (laughs) I wish it were that easy. There's got to be more to it. Yeah, you got to be consistent. Consistent? Yeah, you got to like upload regularly, keep your audience engaged. Right, because otherwise they'll just forget about me. Pretty much. And uh, you got to engage back, you know, respond to comments, all that. Oh, right. Yeah. Got to build that, um, what was it? Community. Bingo. Yeah. Make people feel like they're part of something, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I get it. So, like, I can't just expect people to, like, stumble across my channel. Not really, no. you got to put yourself out there, promote your stuff, interact with people. You know the drill. I do. I do. Okay, so consistent uploads, engaging with the viewers. What about the actual videos themselves? Any, like, tips for making them, you know, really engaging? Ooh. Yeah, this is important. you got to tell a story. Even with, like short little animal clips yep even if it's just like 30 seconds long you can still create a narrative arc you know make people feel something how do i do that think about music text overlays maybe add some humor oh okay little things like that can make a big difference so i gotta go beyond just like look at this cute puppy exactly you gotta give it some like depth some personality you know and guess what this is another area where ai can really come in handy ai again You really love this AI stuff, huh? Uh Uh-huh. I know, right? It's just so cool. But seriously, tools like in video, they can help you, like, structure your video, add emotion, make it look all professional and polished. Can you give me, like, a specific example? Sure. Let's say you have a video of a, um, a cat playing with a ball of yarn. Okay, classic. Right. So on its own, it's cute, but kind of basic. But then you tell the AI to make it into like a suspenseful thriller. Mm-hmm. You know, will the cat catch the yarn? Uh, I love it. Add some dramatic music, some slow motion effects, maybe even a voiceover. Like the yarn is unraveling, but the cat is relentless in its pursuit. Boom. Instant engagement. You officially blow my mind. Yeah. So I'm basically turning a simple cat video into like a Hollywood blockbuster. Pretty much. And the best part is... AI does most of the heavy lifting for you. That's amazing. This AI stuff really is a game changer. It is. Okay, I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about branding. Branding. Yeah. For a channel that's just reposting videos, is that really necessary? It is, actually. Think about it. A strong brand helps you stand out from the crowd, you know? It's like your channel's personality. Hmm. Okay. So, like, how do I even begin to, you know, brand myself? Well, first you got to figure out, like, who your audience is, right? Who are you trying to reach? What kind of content do they like? What are they interested in? Makes sense. Once you know that, you can start building a brand that, like, speaks to them, you know? So, so like, if I'm all about, um, I don't know, golden retriever puppies, I should make my whole channel, like, golden retriever puppy themed. Exactly. Find your niche and, like, go all in on it. I can dig it. So it's not just about the videos themselves. It's about the whole, like, vibe of the channel exactly it's about creating an experience you know something that people connect with i like that so we've talked about finding content editing using ai monetization strategies copyright consistency audience engagement and branding 
Is there anything else I should know before I like jump into this whole reposting thing? Yeah, actually, there's one more thing that a lot of these sources emphasize, and it's uh, patience. Patience. Yeah. Building a successful YouTube channel takes time. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. Right. Right. I got to be in it for the long haul. Exactly. And, you know, even if you don't become the next big YouTube star, you're still going to learn a ton along the way, like video yeah. editing skills, how to create engaging content, how to build an audience, all valuable stuff. True. And hey, maybe I'll discover I have like a hidden talent for filmmaking or something. You never know. And hey, if this whole affiliate marketing thing is something you want to explore, I mentioned a great resource earlier. Oh, right. What was it again? Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. I'll definitely check that out. Thanks again for all this info. It's really helpful. No problem at all. Glad I could share what I learned. Okay, so we've talked about a lot, but before we wrap things up, I wanted to touch on something the sources brought up, like the ethics of all this you know, reposting other people's content. Yeah, that's a good point. It's definitely something to think about. Like, what should we be considering? Well, first off, you got to give credit where credit is due. Like, always cite my sources kind of thing. Exactly. You're building your channel off someone else's work, so you got to acknowledge that. So, like, link to their channel, mention them in the description. Yeah, stuff like that. So, even though I'm adding my own stuff, I got to be clear that the original video ain't mine. Exactly. It's about respect, you know? Yeah, makes sense. Anything else I got to keep in mind, ethically speaking? Yeah, you got to be mindful of the content itself. Or though. don't post anything bad. Well, yeah, like nothing that exploits animals or is insensitive or, you know, just plain harmful. Right, right. So, like, even if a video is super popular or if it's messing with animals, I got to skip it. Exactly. Remember, we're trying to celebrate animals here, not exploit them. Gotcha. Anything else? One last thing. Transparency with your viewers is key. Like telling them I'm reposting and how I'm changing things up. Exactly. People appreciate honesty, you know. It builds trust, right? Exactly. All right. So to sum it all up, reposting animal videos can be a legit way to make some cash, but I got to do it ethically, right? Big time. Give credit where it's due. Be mindful of the animals and be upfront with your audience. Got it. Any final words of wisdom before we wrap up? Just remember, you know, these sources are a great starting point. But the online world is always changing, so you got to stay flexible, keep learning. Yeah. Who knows what this whole thing will look like a year from now. Exactly. Keep experimenting, be creative, and most importantly, have fun. Great advice. Well, I think that about covers it for this deep dive. If you're thinking about trying this out, do your research, experiment, and see what happens. And hey, if you're interested in affiliate marketing, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep learning and keep exploring.